Hello everyone, Kim Victoria here with two brand new journals and this video is going to be part one of two videos so that I can talk through some of the techniques and show you a couple of products and give you a couple of tips. So we're going to do this one, which is a journal I'm keeping and using, and then we'll do this journal in a separate video and this one is available on my Etsy shop. Okay, so let's take a look. So this journal was very experimental as far as the cover is concerned. I wanted to try something a little different. And the journal has three signatures. And I was frankly impatient. I didn't put these under any weights at all. So they're very springy right now. And one of the things that I can do is I can put a rubber band around it and kind of leave it there. And that helps make it a little a little less bouncing open. But it over time, they, these pages will relax and it will be perfectly nice. So you can see I did some paper beads that I sewed in when I sewed in the signatures. And this is a very sturdy cover. I wanted to, well, that was part of my experiment. What I did was I glued two cereal boxes together after cutting them to size. And that made a very sturdy cover all by itself. And then I added this scrapbook paper, heavy duty scrapbook paper. Then I glued in tea dyed paper because I wanted to have a lighter color than the gray cardboard color behind this napkin collage. So I'll get into that in just a moment. I love this scrapbook paper. Maybe you can see it says happy, 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 happy. And orange is the color of the second chakra and it's the color of creativity because that's what the second chakra is about. And I love orange. So this is gonna be my creativity journal. I'm gonna make notes in it about art projects I wanna do, paintings I wanna create, or drawings, or all those sort of mixed media, whatever. So that was my idea, so I wanted to make something, something much nicer than what I've been using. And one of the great things is I've been learning from Natasha from Treasure Books, and I do recommend her book, but she's treasure books on YouTube and I've learned so much from her and that's how I've been able to make these. So what I wanted to do here was have something that was specific for my art ideas rather than these composition books because I was writing all kinds of things in these composition books and all these little tags. I'm going to be going through this now and pulling out writings that had to do with creativity and things I want to teach or uh, create or things like that. But it's just hard to find. And they're not, um, it's not organized. And, you know, I mean, they're okay, but they're not, they're not fancy. And now what I found out is I would really like to do something more um, isolated. So where I can go in and go like, okay, this is where I put my art ideas. So that's in a nutshell what I'm going to do here. And maybe this one will show up in a future video with more goodies in it. Um, so anyway, right now, there's three signatures in here. And they're all just blank signatures. Some really good paper. Some dyed paper. I did some uh, paper dyeing. Very, very basic, plain right now. There's a little pocket here. It's where it's sewn in. And I decided that I would sort of make a journal within a journal. So this is scrapbook paper that I have collaged another one of these. This is a napkin, which I learned from Natasha on Treasure Books. And this is a scrapbook paper that I folded up and... Here's a little tip for you. I wanted to make a pocket. So there's nothing on this right now. This is just, I had some orange paper, so I went ahead and cut it to size. 
But when I'm using the scrapbook paper to make like a little journal cover like this, you, you've probably experienced it if you make these, you wind up with an awful lot of bulk in here and it doesn't like to fold very well. So now I cut a really slim V into the center and that makes it so much easier to flatten out. So that's, that's what is going on there. And all three of these signatures are exactly the same. So what I did here, this was a really complicated, okay? I love this scrapbook paper and I thought, wouldn't it be fun to do this with it and have it go all the way across, which left this little blank cardboard space. And then I had, um, whenever I go to like a dollar type store, I pick up napkins because they get so many cool party napkins. So there was this and it's really, really cool because it's, um, there we go. It's the whole orange and I love it. I think it's just so pretty. So what I did was I cut, well, I didn't cut the scrapbook paper. I left it whole, um, but I figured out where the folds were and I folded it and then I glued only the spine down this is a little complicated. I don't recommend it, but hey, you know, if you want to do something wild and crazy like this, I was experimenting. Um, I go, okay, what am I going to do out here? And so I looked in my stash and I found the napkins. So I glued the spine down, but I left everything else loose. So then what I did was I applied the napkin underneath here to the cardboard. Then I glued this face down on top of it opened it up. Then I applied some tea dyed paper to the inside because the gray cardboard was showing through too much. Then I put this, the rest of the scrapbook paper, folded over the flap and glued that down. Actually, I did that before I put the tea dyed paper on. And then I pasted on the rest of the napkin. So kind of complicated, and after that was dry, then I was able to fold this flap over from the scrapbook paper. So this is all one piece folded over. So it was a little bit complicated, and, and I had to finagle a lot of things, but I'm very pleased with the result. It came out really, really nice. And what I used, I wanted to share this. Because one of the things that uh, I learned from Natasha is mixing PVA glue with a little water, and that makes a great collage medium. And it's water-based. It works great. I've made things with it. Love it. But I also, for many, many years, I have used this Yes Paste. Acid-free. It's a stick, stick flat paper paste. It works fantastic. So instead of using a glue stick or uh, the PVA adhesive for this application, I decided to try the Yes Paste. It works great, both underneath the papers and on top, just like the PVA adhesive. And it's a very thick paste. That's so really, really great. So I just have a little bit of water in a container, and this is a brush that I use just for this kind of thing, just for, oh, scrubbing and pasting and maybe scrubbing acrylic paint when I don't want to have it really smooth or nice. So I have a little bit of water on it, and then I work just that little bit of water on the top, and that loosens this up because it's very, very thick. And you wind up with a nice amount of paste on there. And you can spread it really well. And then you gently lay your paper on top of it. And you don't really have too much room, wiggle room. You've got to be pretty accurate when you put it down because this does stick very, very well. And then do the same thing over the top if you want to collage like I did with the napkin. So I love this stuff. Um, 
now that I've tried it with this technique. And the other one is for the edges, I'll use two glues, this kind of for the body of it. And then I'll use this acetone based glue. It dries really fast, it sticks super tight, and I use it around the edges to make sure that the glue is really set down. I didn't use this at all for the, the napkin because this is, um, it just doesn't work as well. That's all I have to say. But I, I really like this acetone glue, which I learned from Natasha on Treasure Books. So I'm giving her a lot of credit because credit is due. She, she teaches so well. Okay, so when I sewed the signatures in, I kind of had to really think about it, and I pulled out the paper beads I'd made, and this is old calendar pages, um, made into the beads. And they're fun. It's, you know, it's one of those fun things to do in the evening and just as a relaxation. And uh, so that's, that's what this journal is about. And as I said, this is going to be like, for drawing and painting and writing ideas and now I can just grab this one and focus on that and not have it mixed in with like my daily thoughts or any of those other aspects of life. So in the next video we'll go through this one. So I hope that there's a few tips there that you enjoyed and inspire you and of course I'm you know, I'm going to be having fun in here. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.